Hey guys, this video will focus on budget outcomes. This will be a very brief video, and we're just going to outline the three outcomes that a budget can take. So, the budget outcome represents the difference between the difference between government revenue and government outlays. Revenue and government outlays in very simple terms. And it can take the form of either one, a balanced budget, two, a budget deficit, and three. A budget surplus. So we're going to look at where these three budgets can take place with respects to the business cycle. So we're going to look at the business cycle again. I'm going to look at this as being the time and this as being GDP. And we know the business cycle tends to uh, fluctuate in a cyclical fashion and the, the horizontal or the, um, the linear line that goes through it being the trend line. And this is the, the line that we want to get the economic growth rate as close to as possible so that the fluctuations are not too big so as to make the economic activity unpredictable. So firstly we're going to talk about the balanced budget. Now the balanced budget is where the value of revenue, um, revenues, so government revenues, let me note this, gov rev equals exactly government outlays or expenses. And although on the surface this may be neither expansionary nor contractionary in its budgetary stance. In practice, it is actually a tiny bit expansionary due to the multiplier effect. Because since taxation isn't a component of aggregate demand, people would then spend more money, and then because government revenue is equal to government allies, the balanced budget is only a little bit expansionary due to the multiplier effect. Secondly, we have a budget deficit. This is where government revenue is less than government expenses. We can see that because government expenditure is greater than revenue, this is a rather expansionary sense. And this typically occurs when the GDP growth is less than trends. So somewhere around here, we will see a bu government budget deficit. Lastly, we have a g government budget surplus where government revenue is more than government expenses. So the government are receiving more than what they're spending. And in this case, they're trying to slow down the Australian economy. And this will typically, this will typically, typically occur in areas of a boom or um, an expansionary phase uh, on the business cycle. So as it moves away from the trough towards a boom or a peak, we will see the government budget outcome move from a deficit towards a surplus. So in very rare cases will the government experience a budget balanced budget where government revenue exactly equals government expenses. But in most cases we're going to look at budget deficits or budget surpluses with 
a budget deficit being an expansionary stance and a budget surplus being typically contractionary in nature.